Known for capturing the world's imagination with his high-profile feats, David Blaine has set and broken several world records. The man famous for both his mystifying street magic and his larger-than-life endurance stunts, he has the ability to impress anyone with his cool personality. So be it his famous frog trick, or biting a metal coin in half. Hello and welcome back, and today we're going to peek behind the curtain and unlock the top secrets behind David Blaine's greatest magic tricks of all time. So, let's get started. At number 7, Biting a Coin in Half This is one of David Blaine's most famous street magic tricks. In this trick, David asks some ladies for a quarter coin. One of the ladies finds a coin and hands it over to David. He also talks something about the change in consistency of the metals and tells them if you squeeze a piece of metal, it heats out. He then brings the quarter close to his mouth and to the shock of everyone around him, he bites a half chunk out of a solid coin. Now, that's crazy. <laughs> but the trick wasn't finished yet. When he holds the remaining half of the coin in his hand and all of a sudden spits the half which was in his mouth over that coin, the coin is suddenly restored to its original state as if nothing happened at all. So, how did he do it? Well, here's the secret. And you can easily figure it out once you know the inner workings of the coin. Yes, the trick involves a gimmick coin used by David. The coin is made up of two parts held together by elastic bands, and it has the mechanism to be folded so it looks like one half of the coin has disappeared. David first secretly swaps the original coin for the gimmick special one, and then acts as if he's biting it while he actually just folds it. Then he shows the rigged coin to the ladies and then just acts to spit the missing piece back. During this act, he simply lets the folded half of the coin jump back into its original place. And that's how the magic happened. At number 6, the insane card trick. David Blaine, the man known for his amazing jaw-breaking magic feats, this time he chose to do a simple card trick on Ellen's show. He first calls upon a girl from the audience to make the trick even more interesting. He takes a deck of cards and asks Ellen to choose any card at random and sign over it. He then places the card between the deck and shuffles it many times, and allows that to stay in between Ellen's palms. Then he asks that girl to say any random number, and the girl chooses 13. David then asks to check the 13th card from the top of the deck, and that card was supposed to be the card that Ellen signed. But the 13th card wasn't the card that Ellen signed. I didn't, that's not the card. Oh, that's not your card? No. So David made up the final part of the trick and said that he folded the card and flicked it through the air under the wristwatch of Ellen. And finally, it turns out that the card was the actual one that Ellen signed. So now, you must be thinking, how come that card landed under the wristwatch of Ellen? Well, before revealing the secret, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get instant notifications of our new video uploads. Now, if we rewind back and watch the video carefully, you can easily figure out this trick. If you look here, when David placed the card between the palms of Ellen, he very quickly took his right hand under the wristwatch where he had the card removed from the deck and folded under it. He then quickly places the card under the watch without Ellen even noticing it. You could even see the card already folded and fixed under Ellen's wristwatch. And everything David said about the card moving through the air under the wristwatch of Ellen was just a misdirection. At number 5, Turning Coffee Into Coins Wouldn't it be great if your coffee turns into gold coins? Call David Blaine the record-breaking magician who knows this magic trick. Now, this was one of David Blaine's most famous tricks, in which he turned a homeless man's cup of coffee into a cup full of gold coins. So, how does David make coffee turn into coins? Well, we have the secret. Hidden inside the coffee cup is another small cup with a sponge at the bottom of it. That cup is just large enough to fit inside the main coffee cup below the coffee line. 
A sponge is being cut to fit inside the outer cup, and that cup has a small hole at the bottom. The size of the hole is such that David can easily place his finger to cover it. And this becomes the key to the trick. Now, the small cup filled with coins goes into the outer cup on top of the sponge, and finally, the coffee is poured inside the cup. Now, David starts performing the trick. First, he places his finger inside the hole at the bottom, and through that hole, he slowly pushes the sponge above, which makes the small cup filled with coins rise and appear. This makes the coffee drain down below the inner cup from its sides and into the sponge, which absorbs all the coffee. Finally, we see the coins appear, and this is how he fools us with his amazing skills. At number 4, the mind reading trick. For this trick, David Blaine visits England, where he performs an amazing mind reading card trick. And the person on the other side was the famous physicist, the late Stephen Hawking. He places a deck of cards in front of Hawking and asks him to think and name any card he wants to, and also ensures him that he has no influence whatsoever in the final selection. Now, Hawking names the Nine of Diamonds. Nine of Diamonds. David then reveals the Nine of Diamonds, and Hawking was impressed to see that David had his card ready and waiting at the bottom of the deck, which he placed in front of Hawking. So, how did he know it? Well, the technique David used in this trick is called multiple outs. This is a popular concept in mentalism and prediction-related magic, where the spectator doesn't know where or how the prediction will be pulled off, and so the magician has the option to change the prediction according to what the spectator chooses. So, no matter what card Hawking chose, Blaine was already prepared with a different answer and had a separate trick ready especially for that card. Now, he had many different ways of ending the trick. If Hawking had picked some other card, say, Nine of Clubs, then David would show him that Nine of Clubs is at the top of the deck. And if Hawking picked the Ace of Diamonds, David would say that this is the only card missing from the deck. So, you must have got it. It's a trick that can't go wrong for someone as skilled as David Blaine. At number 3, Cigarette Through a Coin Trick David Blaine, the magician known for his horrifying magic tricks, once performed the magic of passing a cigarette through a coin to amaze the audience around him. Wow! And here's the secret to this trick. The coin used by David Blaine was a gimmick coin that actually had a hole at its center, through which the cigarette was passed. When we take a close look at the back of the coin, the coin flips open from the center when pushed with the cigarette from the other side. After passing the cigarette through the coin, David then instantly switches the gimmick coin with a real coin before passing it to the audience for the final check whether the coin is real or not. At number 2, 360 degree arm twist. Can you put your hand on the floor and rotate it to a complete 360 degrees? Well, that's impossible, you must think. But it's quite possible if you're David Blaine, the magician known to challenge the human potential beyond limits. Look here how he rotates his arm to a complete 360 degrees. Well, this trick also has a secret. David Blaine in this trick positions his arm on the ground in a very different way. Instead of placing his hand right down on the ground, he instead flips his hand to 180 degrees and then keeps that on the floor. This arm position now makes it a lot easier for him to rotate his arm to more than 360 degrees. Also in the entire trick, it's almost impossible to figure out that he has placed his arm in a different way due to the long sleeve jacket that he wears, which covers his arm completely. So finally, David Blaine's number one trick on our list. Vomiting Live Frogs We've all seen Fear Factor shows in which people put all sorts of insects, spiders, and even frogs inside their mouth. But this trick is one notch higher. And if you're David Blaine, the man who's been buried alive, submerged in ice for days, and more famously suspended above London in a glass box for 44 days with absolutely no food, then there's got to be some extreme stuff. The magician once performed a trick in which he appears to vomit live frogs out of his mouth. And even after everyone sees that his mouth is completely empty, he just keeps on producing new frogs. So, 
How did he do such an insane act? Now, most of the stuff David performs has got to do more with endurance and skills rather than manipulation and stuff. So, the only secret here has got to be lots of practice and extreme endurance. And before the filming began, David had to actually swallow all those frogs, holding them in his stomach's esophagus before releasing them. Now, you must be wondering, how is this possible? This performance was inspired by an earlier act by the famous 1930s regurgitator Haji Ali. So, it's all about mastering and gaining control of your stomach muscles. And this is exactly what David practiced for almost six months before shocking us all with his superhuman ability. So guys, hope you got the secrets behind David Blaine's greatest magic tricks. Is Blaine the greatest entertainer of all time? Drop us a comment below. And which topic would you like to see next? Do like and share this video with your friends on social media. For more such amazing things, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And finally, thanks for watching.